Hi guys, welcome back to this week's vlog and we're back at Lux. <laughs> um, I'm getting my nails redone, it's been a month, so time for a refill. And I'm doing something different today. Same shape, but different design. Oh, um, yeah. Don't know how much you mean to me, baby. I can't put it in words. You don't know how much you give to me, baby. You keep making me learn. Yeah. You're like a painting hanging on my every wall. You save me, you give me all and a little more. Hi, we are going to Lamu the day after tomorrow. Today is Saturday, so on Monday, we're going to Lamu. So I got my lashes done because I refuse to have to use strip lashes. And then now we are doing henna. We're and henna ring. This is Leila. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's our little magician. Let me show you when Jackie's getting done. Hola, so the henna was done, it was completed, everything looks dope. It's on this leg. Um, I'm here at the loft. It is my set for the day. I have to create so much content today and I have to do it before six because tomorrow we are traveling and I have to get all my Nairobi work done before then. Oh, let me show you this location. Thank you with the loft for wanting me to rent the place. Uh, let me show you, it's a two bedroom, loft it's next to yaya center i'll leave the link down below if anybody's looking for a staycation or if you're not from nairobi and you're looking for a service to, uh, apartment they're great for that so let me just give you guys a quick little tour so from the door ignore my camera setup uh here is a fully functional kitchen they have plates and everything that you need it's a lot like the curve um anyway so that's the dining that's the living room there is a bathroom in that corner and then if we go up this spiral staircase is where the bedrooms are. So this is uh, the master. Uh, and then in here is the bathroom. Hi. And then down the hallway is the other room. Ignore all my clothes. <laughs> and then bathroom as per usual so all my clothes that i'm shooting today i'm doing a reel for suits so i got skirt suits skirt suits i have pantsuits the whole shebang bang it's gonna be a party i'm also doing content for temporary so yeah uh i figured i might as well just do a quick little try on haul for you for most of the suits that i am showcasing in this reel so this is a thrift um i think it was 1500 it's an old school suit and then i altered it by just making the skirt shorter so let me show you here it is i absolutely love it and of course with a pair of thigh high boot black i mean she's like serving looks like oof, god i can't wait to wear this i don't know where i'm gonna wear it but i need an event asap that requires a skirt suit i would really appreciate it uh, so yeah she cute other suit this is a short suit um, I have the identical one in orange from here oh, she's real cute but now she's fully white Let me show you with the jacket on here she is with the jacket on mad vibes mad vibes cute right you guys already saw this suit. You remember from like the last vlog? By the way, the orange suit, there's the shorts, there's um, the white short set. Those were all by Vin. Everything else, I actually didn't show all of them. I, it's, it's just hard to do this and that. Um, but these were from Vin. So I'll put his contacts down below. He makes my suits and he knew it. Yes. All right, so. So this is what I'm doing. I'm doing that touch it, bring it, pay it, watch it, turn it, leave it. 
but the fashion version um yeah so it's, it's a little messy let me just show you so i have my point here i have to just keep moving non-stop and then i'm going to basically edit it and slow it down I'm done with all the outfits. I did six or seven. I forgot. I don't know. much yesterday because uh, just mainly wanted to chill but uh, if you guys want a, a full house tour because with this vlog you'll just be seeing us just moving moving around or whatever they come on a full house tour and full breakdown on like rates and how much it costs to come here for us um, I did a vlog on that last year on September so I'm gonna put the link down below sorry the wind might be an issue um, I'm gonna put the link down below for you guys uh, so yeah go check it out it's gonna be it's, it's a full breakdown all the way down to food so remember this outfit it's the suit that i showed you but i just love the fact that you just wear just the top with the shorts it's like a whole beach vibe um but what i really wanted to show you oh god lighting all right so if you might if you guys remember this it was just like one second ago on this vlog this is the suit set i just didn't bring the jacket but by itself it's like a whole beach vibe i love it and the white crisp but that's what i wanted to show you um, we had it made in a way where it's reversible, so if you want like complete boobage, that's the side that you would wear it on. But I'm not into that vibe right now, so I just want to keep it nice and clean. Uh, so I just want to take a quick photo of this outfit, and I can bring you guys behind the scenes for that. And then, uh... Pleasant. You guys want to see a delicious snack? Good morning. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow, this watermelon yeah, slaps. Yeah, thank you. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, that's how much meat. So this is how you know that you're a grown-ass person on vacation. So, a little trick about saving money while traveling. Number one, be an influencer, it helps. Number two, um, travel non-peak season and travel in the middle of the week. It is Tuesday. Mind you, everybody here has a job. 
When I tell you we are working. <laughs> some silver rings we always do that every time we come here and then we're gonna go have lunch at the Magellus so what I'm gonna show you is how to wear makeup while in the coast because uh, we're actually gonna be doing content as well um, it's very very simple number one get your lashes done it cuts down on time a lot and you don't have to wear mascara upper that's lovely number two you need the Mac studio tech cream to powder foundation love it i'm in nc 47 yeah and all you're gonna do is apply it directly onto just problem spots not the entire face because you want it to be light um oh i need primer first uh this is the maybelline new baby skin instant pore erase just put a little bit on the hand i'm just gonna do it Now I am using the MAC Studio Fix Tech and I'm not going to do it on my eyelids because you know the way you just have natural, um, I don't want to call it discoloration, but like your pigment is just different over here and under here. I'm going to use that pigment difference as my eyeshadow. So no product is going to be on my top lid. And I'm just going to apply it just here, literally just there and like a dot here and just blend it in. blending sponge that is slightly damp, not soaked, damp. I use that to blend. And then some powder just to set and this is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of color on my cheeks with the matte Sun Power Sun Power Mineralized Skin Finish. Just a little bit of color. And then just a little bit of shimmer with uh, Juvia's Place the Nubian Loose Highlighter. Um, but this color is more like a bronzer, so I'm just gonna use that for just a smidge of shimmer. And this one goes long as so you gotta be like. <laughs> Smidge of setting spray. This is a MAC finish. And that's it. Oh, and some lip gloss, but just basic lip gloss. And now that's it. Man, this view kills me every time. I need a house in Lamu so bad. Good morning. Good morning! Oh my god, so we have leftover pie from yesterday. This pie is the freaking bee's knees and it's freshly baked. Cow 
everybody. I mean, the point is, this pie is delicious. It has mango in it, and I think this is a banana. Trust me, it's good. It's lit. It's fire. It's delicious. face because screw it I'm done I've switched to my swimsuit of the day she cute um, and we're about to hit that pool sideways all of me oh but this swimsuit is a full thong like thong. this is why you have swimsuits for hotels and swimsuit for private houses I actually did a video of the suit so here it is um, I got this from shell antics Shell Attics? Antics. Something to that effect. I'll put the link down below. But I love it. I love it. It's so sexy. It's a full phone go. Live life, darling. Only young ones. And here the sweet ladies. Will you be my sweet raffle? Hot all the time. I'll be there when you need me. Just call and receive me. Yeah, then I'm coming for your entire Korea. Coming for it. Apparently we're not swimming right now. We're gonna swim in a little bit. So before that, I'm making myself a cockatilla. Can I you want a cockatilla? You're making a what? A cockatilla. A cockatilla. Sounds fancy. Jason, that's a whole so meeting. I am so sorry. Oops. She is working and I just walked in shouting. <laughs> oh, I can't be taken anywhere nice. Anyways, so let's make a cacatilla. Personally, for me, when I'm in the coast, I prefer a simple cocktail, not too much stuff. So I'll show you two of my go tos. So, number one, I love Sevilla. It, hit, it be hitting different in the coast. Like, it's like vibes, right? So it's like 1.5 ounces, it's like basically a shot on ice. And then I top it off with a grapefruit tonic. Delicious, just another extra kick of citrus to go with this citrus gin. So this is my Tanqueray, Avi. Um, so yeah, just a little bit. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, so good. So that is my coastal weather GNT. Yeah, you can pass, you're not in it. It's just a vlog, guys. It's just such a whole production. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so yeah, you are welcome. I'm out here saving lives and making cocktails. I don't know. So this is the food that we had yesterday. Some of us were too full to function, so we did not eat. What is this? Mm. I don't know, but it's nice. Chef extraordinaire. Okay. As you just hold that kiss, like you're about to do some magic. Una do? Oh, ni, ni, it's a lemon. Wow. Or lame. Anyways. If you say you want to go, I will fuck you. How are you? We're doing a quick little photo shoot because why the hell not? Um, it's a bikini. Let me show you. Let me just adjust before you know slips happen. So I am pairing this Arabella top. It's a pearl top. The bikini that matches this is underneath it, and then the snakeskin bottoms. These are from Bikini World. She a vibe. She cute. We're here for it. Yes. So it started raining really, really badly. So now we're just sitting. Oh wow, it's so hot. I would love to show you, but my camera can't flip around. Anyways, 
Here are the beautiful people. Of <laughs> so this is dinner. Crab pasta and chicken. And Jason. <laughs> so just <Or> do that. <laughs> it's a wrap for the night. Dinner. It's been raining all day, so. <laughs> the last walk to outside because we're leaving Good morning. I look like a hot mess. I have not showered and I'm not going to shower until the evening because it is decluttering day. I am so excited. Oh my god. I don't think you understand how excited I am. Um, basically got to clean up the whole house. Like cleaning up everything, decluttering, getting rid of, getting rid of some extra clothes. And also you guys who ask like please send me your clothes i like make the the clothes that i get rid of already like immediately have a place either a um the lady who comes help me who helps me weekly clean the house she gets first dibs always so she picks out some pieces from there then i have some relatives and after there it goes to set so there's always a place for everything that i get rid of so let's just get that out of the way okay so like i was saying i am decluttering the whole house that wall right there already taken down those um frames um personally i'm not into like wordsy uh art but he loves wordsy art so we're keeping it i just want to take everything out of that area just make it clean i've been wanting to do this for so long um he likes stuff i i'm a little bit more minimal um like not super minimal i'm not a minimalistic person at all i still like um, my place to feel homely and like people live in them but i like less stuff than he does but we've discussed it and he's been able to meet me halfway in the middle where like can i please like just clean off some areas because we have a lot of stuff <laughs> just so much stuff so that's what we're doing today so we're first gonna work i'm gonna basically be working on sections and i'm probably not gonna finish until evening like for sure i'm not gonna finish until 9 p.m so first we're starting with the living room area and then after that uh, so that's like living room and dining room area completely cleaning off what i can clean off putting everything away that i can put away in storage areas whatever i can get rid of i'll get rid of it um, then I'm gonna move to my office and I'm gonna move to the bedroom which is gonna be more uh, clothes and things like that and then we're gonna do the kitchen the kitchen is probably gonna be tomorrow morning not gonna lie so let's do this I'm so excited mm, mm, I feel like a hot mess is so all over the place it doesn't really make any sense um so just to catch you up real quick so we went to Lamu obviously you guys saw that part um we got back it was a great time I'm gonna put all the information when it comes to the Lamu trip down below when it comes to their current rates um I had already mentioned that I've already done another vlog in the past where you can see the rates there um but then those were the rates have slightly changed not very much but they have changed a little bit 
Um, so I'm gonna put all that information down below and um, their contact information in case you wanna book for Furodani. Um, and again, if you wanna check out the vlog on how, um, like, our general experience in Lamu usually is, I'm gonna put that video down below as well. Um, I didn't vlog much this time just because it was just chill. Like, it was super chill. We were just chilling around the house. We really didn't do much outside the house. Um, but yeah, so we got back and then I hung out a couple of days at my mom's house uh, with my family. My sister is back in town with her babies. So I'm at my mom's and there's a lot of babies happening. So this is a puppy. It's our neighbor's puppy. She keeps wandering into our house. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Now let me introduce you guys to all the other babies just roaming around the house. Oh. Oh. Well, Zoe used to be this size. Now she's an old woman roaming around outside. Oh, that was so precious. Do that again. You like the puppy? Hi. This is Mia. She's camera. Sh ah. She likes to feed people. Um, here's a little clip of her feeding me. It was literally 15 minutes of that process. And then this is my nephew Tuggy. Leo. Hi, Leo. Hi. Hi. I want to have that. You want to have this? Yeah. Let me first finish with it, okay? And then this is Chloe. Chloe. She had a little chocolate droplet. She's just woken up. Hi. Hi, Mama. Hello. <laughs> She's just woken up. And then my sister's here. She's in town. She's making pancakes, not for us, it's for the babies. <laughs> Zoe! And this is my baby. Come Zoe! Come! Come! Jump! And this is my baby. Hi! 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 Where's the other one? Hi! Hello! Doop doop! Ma, guy, say mm -hmm. hi. Hello! <laughs> yes. Makesh? Hello, Joy. I know. <laughs> And the birthday girl. Chapati. Chapati. <laughs> Quarantine babies. <laughs> um, what else have I been up to? Hold on, let me get my sponge wet. So I had a little bit of an incident. Um, I've taken a break from working out and I'm trying to get back into it and while trying to get back into it um, usually when if I take a long period without working out what I'll try to do is slowly try to bring it back because I've not worked out for like three and a half weeks or oh, I had not worked out for about three and a half weeks and then um, so when that happens I try to bring it back into my routine slowly so usually week one is a lot of like walking power walking and running up and down um, the stairs in my neighborhood and stuff like that. So one day up uh, like two three days ago now um, I decided to go 
I decided to do my cardio and inc like, like incorporate it with my day-to-day -day stuff that I had to do that day. So I decided to walk from my house to Westlands because I had meetings there. Anyways, on my way there, why am I using my left hand? On my walk, I was robbed. I was on the street on my own and I was robbed at gunpoint. It was not fun. Uh... It, it, it it's it's a little traumatizing i'm definitely not walking outside my neighborhood ever again at least for a very 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 long time which sucks because that was one of my favorite things um and the only reason i'm sharing this story because i just feel like it's a good psa for all my ladies out there if you do a lot of walking on your own and like for working out and you walk in areas where you can get to a spot where um there are very few people around you which is where i was robbed um just be careful like please be careful try not to carry um things that are expensive on you luckily i'm fine uh, i wasn't physically hurt mentally i am fucked for a little bit <laughs> um, but yeah i know I, I laugh when i'm uncomfortable uh so yeah ladies do that uh, be careful in these streets. They are rough sometimes. Uh, so, yeah. Um, just to explain what happened, again, just more of as a PSA so everybody just knows how to take care of themselves. It was two men. I was on a road by myself. I was just walking, minding my business, and then I saw this bike going, like they were coming from the other side, like towards me. And they stopped like a few feet away from me which made me very uncomfortable because i just don't like walking and then seeing like a group of men immediately when that happens my instinct is just cross the road and walk on the other side which is what i did um but when i was doing that i was also looking at them and trying to uh figure out the best way to go at it um i was in an area where there was literally no gate and nobody around me at all and and there was no way for me to run back in the other direction it was too late kind of thing uh, so one of the guys on the Ndudi, it was two guys on the Ndudi, the guy on the back of the Ndudi came off the Ndudi and basically ran towards me with a gun and asked me for my phone and my bag, which I gave it to him because it's just never that serious. It's a bag. You can replace everything in it. Um, luckily I didn't really lose much. I just lost my wallet, which had no money in it except some currency, which I really pissed off about like travel currency it it does not equate to a lot of money at all like you can't even exchange it for anything because it's like a couple of rupees here like indian and also sishawa ones a couple of rands a couple of uh like just from different countries that i've visited um naira things like that which i'm really sad about because those uh, like my souvenirs but anyways um and what does it take all oh, my house keys and the bag was a thrift that I bought for 30 bob like 10 years ago, so that's fine. And an old phone, which was broken, and it's literally going to cost more to try to fix it than it would to just buy a new one. So, um, But, like again, it was traumatizing, so even though I didn't lose much, I'm now terrified to walk on my own. Um, yeah, so be careful, ladies. Which sucks, again, because this was one of my favorite ways to do cardio. Um, and I hadn't done it in a while because I had another incident, which I should I should be comfortable to share this stuff. And I don't know why I'm always, I always feel uncomfortable sharing my stories when it comes to this. Because I feel like I'm um, like annoying people by hearing such stories. But then I'm realizing now we need to, I need to be more comfortable sharing such stories because um, when, like women we just kind of need to stick together and be able to share such stories so another woman can maybe learn from it um outside of that men need to hear these stories happening so that they know how to act accordingly so they can stop being little dicks um so what happened to me before like months ago which is why i also stopped working out outside my neighborhood was i was just doing my regular walks i was trying to do a 5k and in the middle of my walk, I saw a group of teenage boys, which of course made me nervous. Not in the same area, different area. I was walking, I was walking a different direction. And um, 
the boys decided it would be fun to follow me and heckle me and catcall me and they thought it would be even more hilarious if they let one of his friends or one of their friends uh walk like basically run up to me and grab my ass and before someone's like and you let them no i did not let them it's terrifying when like seven grown men because i know i know they were teenagers but teenagers are huge and they're men um if they come up to you like what am i going to do fight them i can't um and as women we all know we've all had those situations where like a man tries something and you can't do anything about it because one or two things will happen either a they'll want to do it more or B, they'll try to beat your ass because now they feel like you have emasculated them by not allowing them to do something to you, to your own body, because men are stupid. Um, and I guess I, I, I understand it's not all men before some men are like, why are you saying this like it's all men? I'm not talking about you, dingus. If you're the one who's thinking that in your head, um, then you're a dingus. But uh, yeah we can't do stuff like that and of course we've all heard stories or we have experienced those things where even a guy cat calls you and or if they ask you for a number and you say no thank you they immediately go into you're not even that cute anyways bitch where you're just like i'm not allowed to just not accept your advances i'm not i'm not allowed to do that anyways uh yeah so those boys thought it would be hilarious to have one of their friends grab my ass and it freaked me the hell out and it just stopped walking outside my neighborhood by myself um yeah so we I, I need to start sharing more of these stories and i think i'll do that with like maybe a group of friends where we just sit down and we just talk about our stories and how we have been affected by like sexual harassment in different ways and just to share so other women can know that number one they're not alone and number two to educate men to stop being dinguses um but yeah, so that happened, which took me from walking outside for a while, and then now uh, this has happened, and I'm not gonna be walking outside. <laughs> ah. Ah. I don't know why I react to these kinds of things by like laughing. It's just like my like, my way to psychologically handle stuff. Um, anyways, yeah, so I've, I've made a report the whole bit. Um, they basically said they're probably not gonna find them. They have, the cop said that this has been happening a lot everywhere. Uh, so just be safe in these streets. Um, I'm trying to find my box to my old phone so that I can get that. I forget. I forget what that number thing is called, so that I can be able to track it and at least find which area it might be in. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to find it sometime tonight. So that's what I've been up to. Um, like I said, I'm good. I'm safe. Uh, so yeah. Right now, I'm getting ready for an event because yesterday was World Gin Day and I want to get back to being out and being my jolly, jolly good old self. And yeah, so I'm going to meet up with some friends. We're going to go to K1. We're going to have a few drinks, catch up on what we've been up to. Um, yeah, that's basically what's going to happen. So let me do my makeup and I'll be right back. Oh, and also don't worry about my hair. I'm wearing a wig. Okay, I am dressed. I just want to show you outfit of the day. Hair is from Makeup Cloud. I'll put the link down below. The lippy is Maybelline from the Chocolate Collection. This is in shade Mocha Inventor. Mm. And I'm wearing black on black on black and some brown boots. I'm sure you. Okay, so excuse the room. It is messy. I am packing for a trip tomorrow. So here is my outfit of the day bag is from a Kenyan brand. They make the bags and they also make sandals. I'll show you guys on my trip for the next vlog. Uh, this is from Ma Ma Malel, Malel Footwear Kenya. I'll put their IG down below. Um, here's from Makeup Cloud. Uh, Makeup Cloud, I already mentioned that. I'm wearing a black mini. I got this thrifted. Um, the top is from Basic Intimates. It is a black bodysuit. The boots are from Mr. Price Kenya. Um, but I got them like years ago and the jacket is from Mango. I like it. 